All right, in this video, we're gonna learn how to style our application using CSS as well as SAS. So let's get started. Here we're inside of our index.svelte file and we're displaying each item in our products array, which we created in the last video. Let's say that we want to make the background of every div orange. We can do that by adding a style tag and then writing our CSS within it. So let's go ahead and do that. Below our HTML, I'm gonna add a style tag that gives our divs a background color of orange. Now we see that the background of each div is in fact orange. Seems easy enough, right? Well, we're only working out of one component right now. Let's add another component to our project called gridtile.svelte. And within this component, I will add a div with the text, this is our gridtile component. Now we can import this component in our index page and add it to our HTML like this. Now, as a side note, I will cover working with components in depth in future videos. Okay. So now we see the background of our child components div is not orange. This is because CSS in .svelte files is scoped to that component. This means that any CSS written within a .svelte file will only be applied to that individual component. So our CSS from the index.svelte file will not be applied to elements in our gridtile.svelte file. This prevents styles from one component affecting other components. You can also delete CSS without having to worry about deleting rules that are used in other parts of your application. So in our gridtile.svelte file, let's change the text and background color as well as add some bottom margin like this. Looking in our browser, we once again see that the CSS within that component did not affect the styles of other components. Now, what if we want to write global CSS, meaning CSS that is applied to every page in the component? We can do this by creating a layout file and adding CSS to the layout using the global modifier. I won't go into layouts in a lot of depth in this video, but we will cover them in a future video. But I'd like to show you how to use global CSS with layouts. So let's create a layout file and we can do this by creating a new file in our routes folder called underscore underscore layout.svelte. Now within this file, we need to add a slot tag, which again, I will explain what this is in a future video. Now within this layout file, we can add a style tag and any CSS written here with the global modifier will be applied to all of our pages. So if we were to add this, we see that the font family and style are being applied to all of our divs in all components. We can also write global CSS rules by creating a CSS file and importing it into our layout or our app.html file. Let's remove the CSS from our layout and create a new file called app.css. I'm gonna add the same CSS from our layout and then we can import it into our layout like this. Now back in our browser, we see that the CSS is again applied to the entire app. So now we understand that CSS can either be scoped at the page and component level or specified as global in our layout. But how exactly does this work? Behind the scenes, Svelte creates component specific classes when it compiles the code. This keeps the CSS scoped to that specific component and avoids duplicate classes or IDs. If we inspect elements in our browser, we see these different Svelte classes, each with a random string of letters and numbers on the end. Each of these corresponds to an element in a specific component. This means that if you use the ID container in one component, you could use the same ID in a different component and the CSS styling will still be scoped. This prevents any leaking of the CSS. So by default, Svelte uses PostCSS, which is a tool for transforming CSS with JavaScript. But what if we want to use SAS or SCSS? For example, I'm going to move back into our index.svelte file and try to style our h3 tags using SCSS like this. Now in our browser, our app breaks. This is because Svelte is expecting CSS and this nesting is not valid CSS. There are four things we'll need to do to use SAS. The first is to add lang equals SCSS in the style tag. Then we'll need to install Svelte preprocess by running npm install svelte slash preprocess in our terminal. After this is installed, let's head into our svelte.config.js file and import it and then add another property below kit preprocess that will be set to svelte preprocess like this. Finally, we need to install node sass. This is a node library that binds node.js with libsass and is necessary to write sass code. We can install it by running the command npm install dash dash save node dash sass. 
and then restart the server. Now in our browser, we see that our H3 tags are white and our SAS is styling our app. All right, so that about sums up CSS with StyleKit, but if you're anything like me, you prefer to use Tailwind. So let's learn how to install that in the next video.